What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic Friday so far. This is NYG JeffyT85 here, and I'm here to bring you some breaking news for the New York Mets, as the Mets have actually made a trade this morning, and they have acquired starting pitcher Alicia Hernandez and relief pitcher Jeff Brigham from the Miami Marlins in exchange for Franklin Sanchez, a prospect in the New York Mets minor league system. He is right now part of the AA New York Mets team. So the New York Mets today, they have acquired Alicia Hernandez, a 27-year-old pitcher that's been part of the Miami Marlins since 2018 when he was first called up from the minor leagues. And last year's stats, or his career stats so far overall for Alicia Hernandez is 10 wins and 21 losses. He has a career ERA of 5.04. In terms of his earned run average, he's pitched in 90 games overall. He has started in 48 games overall, where he's pitched in 287.2 innings. He has 277 strikeouts with a whip of 1.321 and a war of negative 0.1. So this guy is obviously a guy that struggled over there with Miami in terms of his pitching. But hopefully Jeremy Hefner and that New York Mets pitching uh, staff and their pitching uh, coaches are going to be able to help work with this kid and help refine his mechanics and try to get the most out of this kid as a guy that they could throw maybe in the minor leagues, refine his mechanics up, or maybe they could throw him out there in the start, like the end of the back end of the starting rotation and see if they could fix this kid up because obviously they believe in some of his upsides. This kid has a pretty def decent fastball. It's just his mechanics are all over the place. So hopefully the New York Mets are going to be able to correct this kid and get the most out of them. The other guy that the New York Mets have acquired today is Jeff Brigham. Jeff Brigham is a relief pitcher for the Miami Marlins. He's a guy, he's pretty much like in his 30s right now. He's a solid guy overall. Last year, he pitched to at least about a 338 ERA. He's had one, 16 games pitched, one save overall, 24 innings pitched, 28 strikeouts with a whip of 1.333 and a war of 0.4. <laughs> In his career, though, he's had a .3 war. He was 3-7 and seven in his career overall, 4.52 ERA. He has 53 games started, 4 games. He's 53 games pitched, 4 games started. He has 2 saves overall, 79.2 innings pitched, 79 strikeouts with a 1.418 whip overall. So these are a couple of guys that the New York Mets are hoping to bring in and try to get the most out of them in terms of their ability on the field and hopefully with a little bit of refinement in terms of their mechanics and obviously some depth to the bullpen and the starting rotation. As we all know, the New York Mets right now, they're dealing with three free agents in the starting rotation and they have quite a few free agents in the bullpen. So the New York Mets are going out there and saying, let's bring in a veteran guy like Jeff Brigham and let's bring in a young guy like Alicia Hernandez. He is 27 years old, but he's still room to grow. So the New York Mets are hoping that they can bring in this kid and see what they could do for him. So Brigham is a veteran, 30 years old. So hopefully they can try to get the most out of this guy coming in for the, the uh, New York Mets. If not, you stash him in the minor leagues if he struggles a little bit. Try to get his mechanics up. Try to see if a little bit of minor league play over there can help get him back up to shape. And then you throw him in that bullpen and see what you can get out of him. In terms of Franklin Sanchez, the player that the New York Mets have given up, he's a 22-year-old right-handed pitcher, 6'6", 183 pounds, down in Double A. He has two wins and two losses in 2022. He had an ERA of 3.79. He had six, 17 games started, seven games, star, 17 games pitched, seven games started, zero saves. He had 35.2 innings pitched with, 70, with 42 strikeouts and a whip of 1.37. So as a kid. Has a little bit of upside. He's a big kid. Pitched in Double A overall for the Brook for the uh, New York Mets, and he's a guy that hopefully the will give the Miami Marlins some depth in the middle of that rotation. A guy that they can count on overall in the minor league system. I mean, his overall minor league stats in four is four wins and five losses, 4.97 ERA for the team. He has thir 34 games pitched. The eight games started, one save. He has 63.1 innings pitch, 77 strikeouts, and 1.1, 1.1.44 whip overall. 
So the New York Mets are counting on bringing in a couple of guys that have struggled over there with Miami and in their careers, and hopefully that they're going to see if they can get something out of these two kids. We'll have to wait and see. But the New York Mets have made a trade this morning. Another one of their active moves. They obviously re-signed Edwin Diaz earlier in the offseason. They picked up the options on Carlos Carrasco, starting pitcher on Carlos Carrasco, and DH slash first baseman Daniel Vogelback. And now the New York Mets have made a trade, first trade of the offseason, trading for right-handed pitcher, starting pitcher Alicia Hernandez, and reliever Jeff Brigham from the Miami Marlins in exchange for young prospect Franklin Sanchez. So that is your New York Mets breaking news. For the, for the New York Mets going forward. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button below. Sub up if you haven't already to NYGJFET85 for more breaking news, updates, chatter, and free agent news surrounding the New York Mets. Turn on the bell for notifications on the next video or short that's going to be dropping on the channel surrounding the New York Mets. And what do you guys think about the acquiring of Alicia Hernandez as well as Jeff Brigham from the Miami Marlins in exchange for Franklin Sanchez. If you guys like this trade, if you don't, if you know anything about Hernandez and Brigham from the Miami Marlins, and if you think these guys are going to do enough to help out the New York Mets in the starting rotation and in the bullpen for the Mets going into the 2023 Major League Baseball season. So I thank you very much, everybody. Have a great rest of your Friday overall. Take it easy. And as always, let's go New York Mets. It's Let's go New York Mets. All you got to do is you got to believe in those boys from Queens.